Hello there, my name is Chris Castle and welcome to The Shooting Show. Today we are in Aberdeen shooting geese over decoys. Uh, I'm with my friend Sean and Luke and hopefully we're going to get ourselves a couple. Hey gents, we need to start making tracks because we have. Let's rock on then. I suppose let's get the guns out, I suppose. Let's Two groups of geese there, and just as you guys went up, the cross. Did you see them cross over? They, they basically, the, the group that came from the front came in over the decoys, as the group that had already passed us came back round and came across the front of them. Right. So today uh, we're back in the goose hide and we are using our semi-autos. We're using a Beretta here. Again, it's quite an old Beretta, um, but it's uh, pretty handy at doing this job. It's uh, synthetic plastic. So if it gets wet, we haven't got to worry about it. Uh, it doesn't mean that it's gonna swell up and jam. Uh, so hopefully we can just get this a little bit dirty and it'll be fine. Uh, we're using a semi-auto because uh, they take a lot of the recoil out of the shells. Obviously for shooting geese, you need quite a big cartridge and they can uh, give quite a lot of recoil so they take a lot of it out of it and uh, apart from that I think anyone who's kind of involved in the shooting industry will agree that to load a semi-auto in a hide is ten times easier Single. <laughs> 
Think of the morning, gentlemen. So, we've just had a few geese come over. Unfortunately, we couldn't shoot them because they're protected. They're barnacle geese. Um, but we did have a couple of pink feet in the morning and a grey. So, we're basically just sitting here now. We're waiting for them to come in. Uh, fingers crossed it won't be much longer and uh, that's it really so we're just waiting um, we're all pretty cold we're having a quick snack and a break and then fingers crossed it will all kick off in about an hour's time to half an hour so there we go Just people start to move around down there you know there's a lot of houses and stuff once they start to move around they'll disturb them a bit and it'll push them up because the whole lot this place was absolutely grey with geese yesterday well grey with a few speckles of black and white it's a particularly challenging morning, not because the geese are not coming in, it's because they're mixed in with these barnacles. And uh, it's making sure that we shoot in such a manner as you don't take out any of the barnacles. So there was some pinks in amongst those ones, but we just left them for the simple reason I can't take the risk of these guys jumping up and shooting the wrong one. geese are coming over from behind us here but there's no chance they're going to come in here because there's such a volume of geese just over the back of the hill here calling that they're going to go straight down and in there so these ones have passed over they're coming round behind to go face into the wind and they'll drop in behind that uh, there must be what how many geese would you say are down there three thousand four thousand yeah, uh, so they're going to come up from here and they're going to turn to come in here because this is where they were feeding yesterday so and they had a fair old fill of food yesterday because when i came to check them in the afternoon a lot of them had shifted into the grass here and were just laying up, so. So what's happened now is we're having a bit of a break because there uh, seems to be a lot of the geese are dropping into a grass field just beyond us. So we're just going to go in over there and have a look and see, hopefully they will lift up and uh, come towards us. So fingers crossed Milton, the guide there, is just on his way just to go and see if they're dropping into that grass field and then we should be, we should be good for later on. Okay, so a load of geese just come in there. Uh, we had a few shots, hopefully a couple dropped out. Some uh, dropped out over the back there. So uh, Milton's just gone out to get them and bring them back. So maybe three or four there. And uh, so hopefully more come in like that. There's two coming in, boys, two coming in. <laughs> Oh, 
Come on in here. Good lad, here. Fetch it up. Fetch it up. Here. Good dog, good. Well, that's all we have time for now. Thank you for watching the shooting show. You can follow us on all the social media channels. If you aren't a member of Bask, you should be. And uh, that concludes the end of our goose shooting trip. And uh, fingers crossed uh, will join us again for another one. The British Shooting Show has free parking and a free program. For those of you who've never been, it's not just a trade show. There is a huge list of retailers that go to. So everything you see from a manufacturer, you can go and buy pretty much at a stand next door.